to Johnny on with the Jockey News. Last week I put up a video that showed me using one of the Yamaha DXR8s at a ceremony. We were out in the middle of the northern woods and I had about 200 guests. I was doing the officiating for that ceremony. I used one of these. Hooked a microphone into it, wireless microphone. Had great sound for it. They had a violinist who was doing the sound of the music, so she didn't need amplification because it was just kind of cool. Anyway, had a couple of questions actually. Um, one gentleman emailed, uh, another one posted, and I thought, hey, this is a really good thing to do a video on. They were asking, you know, I'm running into one of the speakers, and of course they have a through on the speakers. This is very common in a lot of powered speakers. This particular jack can be a mic or a line jack, depending upon how it's set. So, I'm going to show you, right now I have it set to line. I'm going to turn it on. I've got the gain, the level, all the way down, so there's nothing, 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 nothing. Right now, I have it at, uh, straight up at zero. So I've got the gain at zero. I'm going to turn it three to six to nine, and there is the gain level at ten. This is with line input, with the microphone hooked in. Now I'm going to shut it off for a second, turn it all the way down. I'm going to flip it up to mic input. And we'll turn it back on. Here we are, we're back. Okay, now I'm going to start turning it up. Here I am at a negative 20. I am at negative 8. I am at negative 3. Now you can hear that I'm right there. So this is the mic input on one of the units. So I'm going to just turn this down to negative 8, roughly, and I'll turn it to the side. Now what I've done is I've gone out of this one and into this one. And I have it hooked in the same way, as far as it went into the line 1. And right now I have it set, I'm going to set this one to line also. And I'll turn this one up. Because the question I had was, if you're jumping across, does this one have to be set to mic, or does this one have to be set to line? Let's check this out. This one is check, 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 one, two. It is now, this one's, this one's mic, this one's line. Check, 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 check. If I turn it all the way up, check, 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 I can hear it. I can hear it a little bit because what we're having is, let's turn this all the way down. We're having that issue, or that, that problem where the mic signal going into this one, you know, we need to set that one to mic. We have to do the same thing here because the through is literally taking what comes in and bouncing it over, whether it's a line, a, a hotter line input, or a lesser mic input. So, we'll shut this one off, turn it down, we're going to set this one to mic, check, check, check. I'm going to shut this one off, and turn this one to line, just to give you an idea. So, check, 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 one, two, 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 okay, I'm all the way, this one is on, but I've got wide open. This one is now set to mic input. I'll turn it on. Check, 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 check. One, two, two. So it's passing through whatever the signal that's coming in on line one. It doesn't matter if this is set to mic. The first one is set to mic or line. Whatever's coming in is being passed through at that level. Check, 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 check. One, two. So this one's down mic, set up as a mic. This one is set as a line input. Let's just see what happens if I do this. Does everything go off or what happens? I shut this one off. This is where the microphone goes into. It's bouncing to the second one. So the bouncing or the, the going through isn't affected by this being on or off. So that is truly wired straight on through. This is a cool feature. If you happen to be at an event and you're doing the daisy chaining thing and one of these would get unplugged, you would still have sound bouncing down and then you could literally go down and figure out what happened, who unplugged it, where the kid was, and maybe you know step on their toes. So. There you are. That was our mic line input and, and the through and all that. Hopefully that answered some questions. This is John Young with the Disjockey News.